Well, that was Turkey's economy minister there. And I'm going to turn to Tokyo now. And the festival there, the film festival, is just wrapping up. And there were some stunning Japanese movies being shown. There were also plenty of international filmmakers there. After all, it's a, a great chance to show off their movies and to network and meet investors. So we sent Mayo Yoshida down there to see how it's done. From Hollywood stars like Meryl Streep to Asian actors and even the Prime Minister of Japan, plenty of big names have been strutting the red carpet of this year's Tokyo Film Festival. Actors and directors from all over the world will walk this red carpet. Now this year, organizers will focus on highlighting young and rising filmmakers. It's beautiful. We, we just had our first screening uh, like an hour ago. Uh, it's a very, very, very enthusiastic audience. But behind the glamour, there's a lot of business going on. A record 1,900 filmmakers and content buyers from around the world are here to secure distribution deals. Many filmmakers now view the Tokyo Film Festival as a crucial connection between Asian and Western movie markets. We want to push good Japanese and other Asian films abroad through this festival. And for Japanese movie fans, it's important that we provide many unscreened films from Europe, the US and elsewhere in Asia. Japan's own cinema industry has been struggling recently. But box office revenues have been given a boost thanks to the popularity of anime, the unique Japanese style of hand-drawn animation. Directed by Makoto Shinkai, your name has been topping Japan's box office charts since the release at the end of August. I usually don't watch anime, but I had to watch this one. The Tokyo Film Festival has become an important event for the anime industry. And one of the genre's most successful directors, Mamoru Hosoda, is being honored this year with a retrospective of his work. Hosoda says the secret lies in stories that capture the hearts of grown-ups. Japanese animation was criticized for still using hand-drawn techniques, because most are now made with computer graphics, but that handmade techniques help Japanese animation establish its original style that enables them to deliver deep and profound stories. Hosoda's feature, The Boy and the Beast, was the second highest earning Japanese film last year, making more than $55 million. And like this year's mega hit, Your Name, it proves that the anime experience delivers at the box office as well as on the big screen. Mayushida, TRT World, Tokyo.